as Christians, it is time that we hold the leaders in our church accountable. We are fighting a spiritual battle. This is a spiritual battle, and unfortunately, the sin of abortion has crept into the Christian community. One in three women are having abortions, and 78% of them are Christian. And does that really surprise you? Because it doesn't surprise me. I actually thought the number would be higher. Almost every woman I counseled when they were having an abortion, they would tell me, gosh, Abby, I just can't believe I'm sitting in here. I've always attended church. This is the church I go to. You know, I'm a Christian, and I just can't believe I'm sitting in here, and uh, I've always been pro-life. And it was a joke in our clinic. We would say, oh, yeah, we had another pro-lifer today. You know, they're pro-life except in cases of rape, incest, and me. <laughs> you know, we've got groups in our churches for everything, don't we? We got groups for divorce, grief, my kid is a terror, <laughs> and if you're Baptist, you got committees for everything. You got a committee, you got a floral committee, kitchen committee, special events committee, you have a committee on committees. <laughs> But we are so terrified in our churches to address the number one problem in our society, and that is abortion. Because you see, without, you know, without the right to life, you know, nothing else matters. People ask me all the time, they say, Abby, what, what's your opinion on um, taxes? What's your opinion on immigration? You know, you probably don't have that problem. I live in Texas, but what's your what's your opinion on 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 immigration? What is your opinion on uh, a black belt with brown shoes? Or you know, and they they ask me all these things. And while I have opinions, strong opinions on many of those things, you know, they are all secondary to the right to life. I don't, I don't I don't care about parties. I care about a candidate being pro-life. Yes. And I got to tell you, I am pretty sick and tired of people, you know, uh, I'm pretty sick and tired. Of, I don't really know how to say this, but I'm pretty sick and tired of people saying, you know, oh, well, just bless those Republicans' hearts for trying to get this done and defund Planned Parenthood. You know they've had 30 years to get this done? Yes. Yeah. They've had 30 years to get this done. And now... When we have a Democratic majority and the most pro-abortion president ever in the United States, they're going to try to play a political game to gain support? I don't think so. It is time that we start electing real pro-life people in this country.